Hello everybody, I hope you're doing good. This video may contain copyrighted images being used underneath Fair Use Act. Seems one of my videos pissed off uh, IPS. I think it was the one that was Fly Rocket Man Not. So, he had to pull over to the side of the road, grab a piece of paper, and scribble die shill on it. And then he kept breaking in and out because he's having a bad connection. He accused me of doxing him. Uh, I don't know the first step in doxing, so it's a bunch of bullshit. And also, I want to point out that um, IPS is using, created a, a fake um, Flat Earth Reset account. And he uses the email flat earth reset 15 at gmail.com. That is IPS's email address. He keeps posting it as mine. Mine, if you go to my about page, you will see it. It says flat earth reset 55 at gmail.com. So don't be fooled by IPS, others have. You know, he's a little pissed off little midget right now on a rant because I'm calling him out on this rocket fraud. He extended the rocket launch to, guess when? Right around the time of the eclipse. Yeah, like the media is going to pull away from an eclipse for a fucking silly ass rocket launch. Let's listen to IPS here. Well, I'm still on. Amazing. Amazing. I figured I got cut off. But I just kept on rambling just in case. But anyway, I cannot guarantee how much longer I will stay on because it's just, it's not really dependable. We need some saddle up there. But it's hot as F. I'm about three hours away from my destination, but hey, overall, the point of this is just to say that I just talked to uh, Mad Mike. He sent me some new pictures. The documentary with the Daily Planet is already in the works, but they may be scheduling it. I don't think they're going to do it the first weekend. I, I don't know the exact date, but I'm going to get that today. But it's happening. You saw the, the, uh, the new decal if you got the pictures. I haven't posted them here yet, but they're on Facebook. Having some t-shirts ordered, and he's getting some... Uh, posters made up so I'm gonna try to get a stack of them new decals new posters new t-shirts more crap to sell you for this fucking fraud as soon as he has time to have them autographed but like I said there it may actually depending on the schedule that they're working around it might actually happen around the exact time as the eclipse which is fine with me more time to plan the, the event, the trip and everything. But again, listen, um, about the stalker. I'm just I'm just giving him a little bit to chew on, that's all. A little shout out. Nothing serious. Yep. If people wanna address that in their own ways, they're welcome to. I just think that we have a lot of power as a group. And we gotta <laughs> use it. He wants his wrenches to go over there and just spam the fuck out of me and shut me down. Go ahead and try. I already got the other backup channel ready to go. I'm not going away, IPS. I told you that a long time ago. I'm going to expose you for the fucking fraud you are. And I dare you to try to open some more GoFundMe accounts for your bus stickers and your subway banners. You know, they, they do it to us. I've seen YouTube channels of good content creators, like Deep Inside the Rabbit Hole had an account pulled because of some offensive videos about Sandy Hook. <laughs> he ain't a good content creator. He's a gatekeeper. Anyways, IPS is on a rampage again. Have a good day, everybody. Oh, and we'll see about the rocket launch in three weeks. Till then, adios.